ouais. Zach, tu nous dis où est-ce qu'on déménage l'année prochaine On va déménager au Hi, my name is Igor, but you can call me Iggy. So as you can see behind me, it's a mess. We are moving soon. We are just waiting for the passport of this little princess. And as soon as we get it, we are off to the Sour France. So as a young kid, I always liked to draw Dragon Ball Z, Mario Brothers, mangas, calligraphy, pretty much anything related to the Asian culture. So imagine one day receiving an email from a club, from a country far, far away, asking me if I would be interested to come play there. At first, my reaction was like, you know, this would be such a big change for us as a family. So let's have a chat with Anya and see what she thinks about all of these situations and of course, which country we are moving to. So Anya, tell us where we are moving next season, next year. You want me to tell? <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> we are moving to Japan. So now that's out there, uh, tell me what is the one thing that uh, you fear the most about Japan and after what the, the one thing that you are excited about Japan. So honestly, uh, when you first told me that we are that there is possibility that we are going to move to Japan, the first thing was this is really, really far away, far away from our families, far away from everything. So this was one thing that was really shocking. but. Yeah, it's literally on the other side of the earth. Yeah, and you cannot just like that go home, you know? The biggest fear that I still have is integration of school uh, for Zach in, in Mark. We can say now about the school and everything. Yes. Yeah. They are gonna go to international school, which is gonna be in English and Japan language. I'm really afraid because Zach and Mark don't speak English, <laughs> neither do they speak Japanese. So that's the biggest fear that um, the school is gonna be hard for them, that they are gonna lose one year. But what is one year? Yeah, maybe they're you know? gonna lose because now we are, we are living in France, but that part that they're gonna lose, they're also gonna get something else there. They're gonna learn English. Yeah. They're gonna, I hope, learn some Japanese. And uh, the, the, the school system in Japan is totally different than what we used to, at least in France. And uh, it's quite similar to the, yes, to the Balkans, uh, where the, the school is uh, in the first part of the day and the second part of the day is uh, reserved for activities, you know, sports, music or things like this. So I think maybe they're gonna lose uh, on the French side, let's say, and they're gonna get something else in return that maybe they wouldn't get here. <laughs> so tell us now what is the, the exciting part of Japan, or for you at least. It's obvious, it's that it's we are gonna move to Japan, you know. I, I, I come from Slovenia, I come from, from a really small town in Slovenia. It's hard to imagine that I'm gonna live in Japan so, now. So small town that they don't have a traffic light in the yeah, town. That, that's, oh, that's small. <laughs> to live in Japan, it's a special experience uh, to have this opportunity. I think it's a really special, special experience. And I think that everything in life happens for the reason. So we don't understand maybe today, why are we going there? But one day it's gonna be clear. I'm super excited. It's not gonna be maybe easy but it's gonna be super exciting we are gonna discover a totally new culture uh, new people new way of living i think also for our kids it's a special experience to be able to live in in japan to just see what new culture means and to integrate in among kids that are from different backgrounds from di because different it's an background. international school so it's not gonna be just Japanese kids, families, expats, ex expats yeah. families coming from around the world, I don't know, USA or Europe or Australia, things like this. So uh, I think it's gonna be really, really empowering for us as families, as uh, parents to, to maybe uh, make some new friends from around the world and for our kids to discover some new uh, cultures yeah. and a new and way also, of living. And uh, also you know? everything else, the, the, the country, the the food, the... Yes, because we have to, to admit that we, now that we know that it's official, that we are going to move to Japan. We learned a lot about the country, about the culture, about the... Actually, everything about Japan. Uh, we read a lot, we watched a ton of videos on YouTube. And it's almost like we already lived there because we, we know so much about the country. But you know, both of us, we try to live this philosophy in life that everything happens for the reason. And that we are the one who choose, are we going to see the, the, the situation positive or negative? 
negative and if we decide to see it as a once in a lifetime experience if we decide to to see it as something so beneficial for every uh, member of our family then i think that's the right mindset for the moving to go there and to 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 get the best out of it we we hope the best we will seek for the best and we will seek for positive sides and uh, even though if like you said it's going to be maybe harder on the integration because of the language and from what i know japanese people are not the best at english it's going to be on we us don't know it's yet. Be, yeah but it's, i think it's going to be on us to to adapt uh, i of know for myself that i want to learn japanese i already started to to learn some words and things like this, it's not easy alone, but uh, I will give it a try, that's for sure. I'm motivated and I know how important it is for the integration. More on the egoistic side, for me, uh, as a handball player, I still, I'm still still gonna play there and for me it's really important and I'm really proud and uh, happy that i be discovering a new championship and through this I will be able to bring my family along and discover all together a new country the beauties of the country the culture the language everything that is gonna come our way ups and downs of course like everybody else life is made of ups and downs i think uh, i'm blessed and really happy i feel lucky that i'm able to to discover to travel for me it's uh, something really special to be able to experience Kon konnichiwa <laughs> konnichiwa <laughs> so i think that's it for this one if you want to follow our adventures in japan don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it's gonna be now a family vlog or family channel uh, about our adventure you know learning ling the language discovering the japanese way of living for us as a family and if you want to follow us on instagram maybe for daily <laughs> updates of our lives uh, i put uh, the links uh, in the description and uh, we see you in the next one sayonara i don't know how to say this in japanese but <laughs> namaste <laughs>